Hi, my name is Richel Bultebeek. I'm a postdoc at Uppsala University in Sweden in the group of Åsa Johansson. And I will do this lightning talk, uh, post or flash talk about Plinker. So Plinker is an R package to work with Plink and Plink2. Those are, uh, this is just a new version from R. Plink and Plink2 are command line tools to do genotype to phenotype association studies, genome-wide association studies. So that's already maybe one first reason to use Plinker because you never need to use uh, bash scripting. Uh, you can just do everything from R. But there are some more reasons that are on this post and I'll go to through some of them in a bit more detail. So when you use, so at the top row, why use Plinker, there are some reasons why you should use it. Uh, but it also shows you how easy it is to install Plinker. And at that first row at the right hand side, we see you can use any Plink version. It shows you the three versions of Plink that are installed by a one-liner and how you can uh, swap versions of Plink to do your favorite uh, function to, for example, run Plink. You can just, it takes two characters to change um, to be able to call a, a different version of Plink. In the second row, Convert Data, it shows you with Plinker that uh, that there's a problem uh, if you use Plink and Plink2 is that they uh, store their data in different file formats and there are multiple files. And Plinker is the first R package that allows you to convert all these file collections to one another. Uh, but you can also read those files, or even though some are binary, uh, so you can modify those data in memory and then save them back to file again. So there are six types of data. These are the file collections and the types of data in memory. And that's reflected in the uniform interface. You can just put an A type of data and it will work on that. Um, and the uniform interface is a good idea uh, because it's also very safe. So the it's a Plink is a very type safe R package, a bit like C++ and Rust. Uh, but also it prevents you to do mistakes, uh, for example, by calling Plink or Plink2 in ways you shouldn't. Uh, but sometimes Plink does not warn you about this. So and Plinker does, so that's even more safe than calling those function uh, than calling the programs themselves. It allows you to simulate data as well. If you want to get a testing data set, it allows you to compare versions of the different Plinks, just pit them together and see who's fastest. So Plinker is developed at the URL at the bottom. So if you have a feature request or a bug report, I'm always happy to have users. So please let me know there. Um, and if you have questions, see you on my poster. Cheers!